Hey guys, Chris here. Today I wanted to share uh, what I'm taking away from Psalm 78. Um, generally as a practice, I uh, journal. And when I journal, I start off kind of asking myself, you know, what's going on inside? How am I feeling? Well, today some fears were coming up and uh, realizing that with the, the climate of our culture, uh, I had a little bit of anxiety just for my family, my kids, my wife, um, with school coming up and, you know, so I just started journaling about that, sharing that with, with God, praying. And so then I started reading Psalm 78 and, uh, it's a very long Psalm and I encourage you to read it when you have some time, but the, I'm going to paraphrase kind of what I'm taking away. Um, it's all about remembering the things that God uh, has done and brought uh, God's people through. And mainly talking about Egypt and the oppression. Um, but I thought, you know, maybe I should uh, do a little remembering what God has brought me through. So many moons ago, I met a girl and we fell in love and got married. And... Uh, as a singer-songwriter, we decided to get an RV and travel around and play music and lead worship. And uh, that's how we came to know Louie and Joni. They actually let us uh, live at the hillside property uh, for almost two years. And we got to know Louie and Joni, and we served with them. And... Uh, just for the first time, we really found a home in a community and began to heal uh, emotionally. And um, we're very grateful for Louie and Joni and the opportunities that they have provided me and Natalie and our family to uh, grow and learn about God and pursue our artistic ambitions. But at some point, you know, we started having kids and the RV uh, didn't really work out as far as having a family. And so we needed a place to live. And uh, we didn't have much money. And we were stressed about um, where we were going to live. The rental market was skyrocketing and the housing market was skyrocketing. Uh we couldn't afford to rent and we couldn't afford to buy. And we were very stressed and luckily our uh, hillside family supported us and prayed with us. Um, elders, Sean and Patty McConnell uh, came up to us one uh, Sunday and encouraged us to fast and pray. And so we did. And uh, right after the, the fast, um, the doors opened and a friend of a friend and then this crazy story, uh, I won't get totally into it, but there was a couple who had a house and it wasn't on the market because we were trying to buy and every time we put an offer in, it would get, you know, swept up and nobody would even look at us because we had a FHA loan and it was really stressful. <clears throat> well, this couple had a house and they just took to us and they said, you know, if you work with our realtor and our lender, we'll make it happen. And it was just a, such a miraculous, uh, amazing thing that we were even able to get into a house. Um, my family, I had some friends give us money to, um, uh, do the down payment. It was just a miraculous, amazing thing. And, um, uh, God is so good. And faithful. So God totally provided a house and uh, it was pretty miraculous because we could never afford this and we know it's all God. When you see God move in your life, um, it's good to remember the things he's done and is doing. Uh, and yeah, we just learned in Philippians that uh, to focus on the things that are true and noble and right and pure and uh, it's good to remember the good things that God does. And so I just want to thank uh, Hillside, Louie and Joni, 
and the rest of the church just for letting us, our family, uh, lead you guys in worship. And uh, we're just super grateful to be in Reno and to have a community. So I'm getting emotional thinking about it. And I think that's, you know, why God wants us to remember. Because when you do that, those emotions start just kind of going crazy for him. Rather than stressing out about the things that could be or might be or all that stuff. So hope you guys are encouraged. Don't give up faith. God has good things for you. And uh, be on the lookout. Treasures every day. God bless.